Morning folks, how are we all doing? Uh, I'm actually kind of quick to this one. She actually didn't post this too long ago. Uh, I think it was only like 15, 20 minutes ago when I saw Sunny pop up. I saw her crying in the thumbnail and I was just like, well, this is going to be a train wreck. Uh, it says, hi, I truly feel weight loss, surgery, diaries. The first frame is her crying. Uh, I, I assume we're just going to get straight into it, guys. I'm going to do my usual. I'm going to put her up to a 1.25 speed because that's just how I roll. Uh, I, let's just go, guys. Let's go. Hey, guys. So... I feel like it's super important that I share this because I'm sharing all of my journey okay. to get weight loss surgery. And I don't know why, but I just have this overwhelming fear. Okay. Because it's like... I think it was already it's Jordi. I watched him after because I, I I don't watch anyone's videos before I make my video because I like it to be a blind reaction. But I watched his video where uh, he was talking about her fears. And I know everyone came came in and said, okay, well, in America, it's actually not an uncommon fear. So, okay, 100%, thanks for letting me know. Um, about the, the shooting in the cinema thing, I mean. Um, and pretty much he said, this is just bizarre. Because it is just her going like, I'm scared of this. By the way, I'm scared of this. By the way, I'm scared of this. By the way, I'm anxiety about this. And she's like really all over the place during that video. And, it, you know, it obviously was true. But it just, it just seems so weird that she is just... Focusing so much on like fear and anxiety stuff now when it was only what two weeks ago guys three weeks ago She was talking about how she you know show, showing her bullet journal and she's showing her, her daily tracker And she was like never really that anxious and she was having a great time and everything was perfect and amazing And like I don't, in the last three days two three days it has been non-stop like I anxiety, fears, freaking out about stuff, being all like hyper energetic, all of, just kind of like all over the place. You know, it's just kind of bizarre. Um, so uh, I, let's see what her new fear is. I am getting weight loss surgery. I am going to do anything I can and everything I can to have it happen. Okay. But like I'm scared, and it's like last time, you know, I had surgery, and the only time I've had surgery was because I had cancer. Okay. I had a hysterectomy, and was scary and it was terrifying and the anesthesia um made my fight my face swell a lot um i think i had like uh, this seems like a this is this would be a genuine fear to be fair which i, I understand this one a lot more than like, any of the other fears she was randomly going weird about which is why it's so weird that she was like talking about her fears with those and then like this is like the you know so raw you know r reveal of the other fear, which is uh, it's a much more believable fear that you know the one time in your life you've had a serious operation it was to do to, with cancer and everything like that. So you know, it, I, you know this makes sense to me. A really bad allergic reaction. I don't know. Um, they didn't really say anything about it. They actually... See, I, I I don't I don't believe that though. It's like, oh yeah, I ha so suddenly my face swole up entirely because of the anesthesia I had, and they just they never mentioned it. They just never mentioned it. You know, I don't even know what happened there, guys. I just never mentioned it. You know, no one, we never talked about it again. I never, I never asked. It's like, I don't, I, I, I don't believe that. Like, I've had a fairly serious, like, operation-y thing happen last year. Uh, and they kind of talked me through everything. And we all talked about it afterwards and everything I got. Like, so, you know, it, 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 it you know, I, I don't feel that her having a massive allergic reaction, apparently, to the anesthesia uh, is something I'd be like, ah! I was like, don't worry, who cares? And just not talk about it or deal with it. They said the surgery went amazing. But, like, I'm having a little anxiety right now. Um, I know it's not going to happen for a while. Like, there's a lot of things I still have to do. But, like, just knowing that it is going to happen, it's just bringing up a lot of, like, past memories with, like, when I had my hysterectomy and, mm -hmm. you okay. know, things can happen during surgery that are yeah. really... This my I mentioned a couple of days ago about um, how, how she cries about everything because she tried to make it like a big deal. So guys, I, I I cried. You know, I was sitting here in discomfort one day and I cried. It's like you cry a lot, so that's why it means less to me. Um, I, I I don't know. I, like I'm not someone who lets like fear really rule my life in any way. Um, it, it just seems like like okay. I whilst I understand that it is something you'd probably be nervous about and anxious about everything like that. Uh, it just seems like sitting here just like openly crying and weeping about how scared you are about a potential surgery that might not even happen uh, however many months or years down the line uh, it just seems like you know like how you, in any way is this meant to work out if you can't control your fear and anxiety about something um that's you know not even guaranteed to happen at this moment 
Uh, and it has caused you to go so downhill so quickly. You know, like how, how you meant the last six, eight months, you know. How, like it's it, Weight loss surgery gets harder the closer you get to it with a stricter diet and everything like that. So if you're at this stage already, I don't, I, I don't know if you could really deal with it. Scary. And that's just me being realistic. Um, not even pessimistic at all. Like I've been so optimistic about this whole experience. But when you start looking at like the reality of things and it's a little scary and it's a little daunting and but you, but you aren't really looking at the reality of things that's you're looking at like uh, an imagined issue that may possibly might maybe possibly come about possibly to do with a possible aller allergen you have to anesthesia, which there's, there's different types, so like I'm sure they just use a different one. Um, but you know, you, you're, I'm being realistic about this now. Well, actually, you're not. You're actually you're now being totally irrational about it. Being optimistic about it is fine. Like I said, but it's not a good idea to put on such a high plinth like she usually does. But it's it's fine to be optimistic. This isn't rational. This is irrational how she's being right now. I just, I do have like a little bit of a fear and I just had a little bit of an anxiety attack. It was a mini one. I don't know. I but, was just, it a, um, but was that a good idea to immediately jump on and film yourself after that? I just, I, I don't know if it was. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. And I have insight. I'm impatient because I just want this to get over with. I just, I wish that more than anything, I could just snap my fingers and it's like three months after surgery, you know? Because I feel like three months after surgery, like, that'll be a really good spot. You know, I'm, like, healed. You know, I'm off the liquid diet. Um, I'm getting into the swing of things. I just have um, a little bit of fears. And that's okay. And that's normal. Like, if you're getting weight loss surgery. It is okay. It's normal. Like, but I just, I think it's weird to come on and, and, and act like this on camera. Especially when you're giving so many red flags about this. Like, you know, it's like, I just wish I could snap my fingers and it'd be three months after. The, it's not even just like, and I'm waking up after the surgery. You know, I've got rid of, got past the however many months it's going to take for me to get ready to the surgery, which is going to be very difficult. And the surgery, which he's apparently scared of. It's like, oh no, but I also want three extra months after that. So I'm totally healed. So everything's fine. So I've already lost weight. So I'm off the diet. So I can actually eat food. And it's just like, come on. Like, you know, like, I... I it just doesn't scream in any way like she's at all ready for this whole thing, you know? Or it's something you're thinking of or whatever it may be. Um, if you're scared, just know that it's normal, you know? And yeah, I just, I don't know. It's crazy because obviously when people get surgery, it's to save their life. But it's like last time I had surgery it was because I was saving my life and they took cancer out of my body. And this time, like... It'll be again to save my life, to prolong my life. And it's like, why did it take me so long to get to the point where I cared this much? Why did it take so long? But the, you, you aren't, you aren't any different than you were a month ago. You know, it's, it's, you're, you're literally not any different than you were a month ago. And also, like I said, this is once again putting the weight loss surgery up on a, on a pedestal being like, you know, oh, this, this is what's going to save my life. And I was like, but the, the 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 cancer surgery was like totally necessary, you know. This technically isn't totally necessary. You, you, if you're that scared of surgery and you're able to build up towards weight loss surgery, then just keep going and just lose the weight naturally. You know, it, 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 they're they're kind of different. You know, I think it's a wee bit silly to directly compare the two. The, like I said, she's just she's acting like weight loss surgery is is going to be magic, uh, and for a lot of people, it's not. It just took too long. And it's like, I keep going back to the past. Like, you know, I like to watch old vid videos of mine. And it's like, I don't think I've ever seen myself this passionate. No, you have. weight loss. I, and how bad I want to live. It's, it's a lot. The, like, stop lying to yourself. That's that's like the, 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 the start of everything. Stop lying to yourself. Because the more you lie to yourself, the more likely it is that you're not going to get the weight loss surgery. That's It really is just as simple as that. If you keep lying to yourself and acting like this is magic and you are suddenly, 
boom, overnight, a different, changed, magical person who has the best willpower in the universe, uh, can handle discomfort the best, everything like that. It's, it's, go it's, it's going to crash and burn pretty hard. And then we're just going to be at the start of the Amber Cycle game because then in two weeks' time, she'll have another diet. And it's like, oh my God, guys, I'm a day into the diet and it's working so well, guys. I, I'm never more, you know, that, that whole thing. No matter how hard this is and how many times I have to say no to bad foods and to overeating and to triggers, no matter how many times I have to say no to those things, it's all worth it. Like, I'm not perfect by no means. Like, I'm not just over here, like, being the most perfect. Um, There has been one time where I <laughs> didn't say no, and that happens. That's also realistic, but... What? The changes I've made in the last... It, it, that just that came across as fake there. I'm sorry. Just like she was all over the place trying to decide what she wanted to say. Uh, that just came across as really, really fake. Uh, really disingenuous. So I, I have no idea what to read into that. But that came across as really disingenuous. It was like she was actively trying to think of what to say there. What what her claim will be of her failure. Because obviously, you know, she's you know quite a narcissistic person she she doesn't want to be like guys do you know what i've already i've messed this up i really fucked up i really did really bad all that stuff she doesn't want to do that so it has to be like oh yeah yeah well um, uh, um well there was a uh, one time or well, half a time really where i you know i had one slice of toast too many you know that kind of thing where she's really really as she's talking she's already in her head going oh i've given too much downplay 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 over and over and over again a few weeks it just takes one day. It just literally takes one day for you to just be like, I'm fucking done. I'm done killing myself because that's what I've been doing. And I just regret more than anything it having to get to this point. So how are you all doing in, uh, in chat? I don't know why I said chat. I act like it's a live stream again. I don't know. For me, this is kind of like... Oh. Mm, to watch um i'm not someone who's moved by tears very well or anything like that uh so it's just like sitting here and being like this just feels it just feels like manipulation why 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 does this video exist of you just sitting here like crying about hypotheticals and possible outcomes and possible routes you could go down and things that may or may not have happened or may or may not actually happen i'm just like oh, okay um can you show me the titanic lego again i think i'd be kind of i'd like to see that I was kind of excited about that last time. Oh, can I see Wasabi again? It's something like that's all right. That's just how I, that's that's what I'm thinking when I'm watching this. Being like, oh, I wonder if she's going to show me some hummus, because <laughs> you know? I just, I, just I, I'm going to be honest. I don't, I don't care about this. I just think this is silly. Uh, that if it is genuine, I don't know why you'd post it online. If it's not genuine, it just comes across as manipulative. That's that's where I sit on this. If I could go back and talk to myself when I was 13. You that probably still make the same mistakes, you know? You probably would. She needs love. And she needs compassion. Guys, do you not understand? Love Amber... Don't be mean... Don't, how dare you? How dare you not give her love and compassion? That's... You, you played your hand a wee bit too much there. I don't know. This is a bit cringe. Um, we'll see how it goes. I wonder if she just talks about this for the whole time. Oh, my God. Uh, so, guys, um, how, how are we all doing? Are we, are we, having, a, are we having a nice... It's, it's coming up to the weekend. Are you, have you got any plans for the weekend? This is going to be... That's going to be fucking terrible. And she needs people to love her. <laughs> okay. And she just didn't have that. Okay. She didn't. Okay. And, uh... Okay. Things just started spiraling when okay. I was a teenager, you know? Okay. I reached 420 pounds when I was 16. Okay. Do you know what? I, um, people in my comment section, you're all lovely people, by the way. You're all lovely people. They're going to be power social as fuck with you. You're all lovely people out there. Um, like, you you guys are, like, educating me on stuff like that. Because, obviously, like, I, I think I made it very clear. I don't know Amberlynn too well. Um, I don't, you know, I've, I only started following her... Uh, when was it? The time she went into hospital. It was the time she went into hospital because she thought she, something had happened. She was in bed and she had leaned the wrong way and she like pulled a muscle. But then it was pneumonia. Oh, but then it was cancer. Oh, but then it was just a scar in her lung. Oh, but then it was like a, a pulled muscle and she was all over the place. That's when I started watching Amberlynn, um, like more solidly because I've, I've seen bits and pieces before. Uh, and I saw Mrs. Stoff like that. So I don't know a huge amount about her. Uh, I've heard bits and pieces. I've seen a few documentaries and thing on Girl World and all. Um... But even I've seen this kind of shite a, a, a fair few times. So I, why why are we hearing this story again? Apart from petty points, 
Is this because um, she now, you know, I'm assuming because she says she's going back to reading, like, comments and all. Is it because she, like, fully, she's like, oh, my God, look how, look at all these new f- people watching me and liking me and all because they came from that, like, f- French or Belgium documentary or whatever it was. was Oh, time to go full pity mode. I'm going to just sit there and recount my full backstory whilst cr- crying, uh, specifically just for those people. That was, like, not surprising <laughs> at all. Why did you Sorry, just? just uh, why did you just the airport? What airport? Why do I always sound weird? Uh, why don't you just take it out? I felt like I needed to talk, <laughs> and I didn't want to like talk to anyone in particular. You have a girlfriend um, for this? To talk to my camera and talk to you guys. That's cool. Well, one, you didn't have to upload it after talking. Uh, if it's just for like a stress relieving thing, you didn't have to. It's like people say like write a letter but don't post it. You, so you didn't have to upload this. Secondly, you've got a girlfriend for this. We're not. We're not your therapists. We're not your psychologists. We're we're really not here to pat you on the butt every time you, you cry and say, oh, don't worry about it. It's not really our job. Uh, it's unhealthy to like vent at the internet in my opinion to the vent especially when you ha- know you have such a negative following i just think by this point she should realize this is unhealthy to do and have this moment be documented because it's part of it tears are part of this journey and fear is part of this journey regret and anger it's all part of it and okay. i'm not going to shy away from any of that well no and because it, because it makes you money because you 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 made you made your thumbnail you crying, like the, the, so of course you're not going to shy away from it. Like come on, let's not let's not let's let's not pretend we know how this game's been played. At any of the people online who make me feel bad about feeling these emotions, I'm not going to let them stop me from sharing these feelings. Because didn't you like only yesterday announce that you were going to start reading comments again? Was well, like what, because people made you feel so bad? And like halfway through January, weren't you ranting about people being mean to you on Instagram Q and A's like numerous times in numerous videos and blaming your audience for your weight loss uh, not going well and everything like that? We're, bro, we're like two weeks later. <laughs> bro, we're like two weeks later. Like I, I don't think you can still make this claim. This is my story, and I want to share it with you guys because for like the first time ever, I know that I'm gonna lose weight. Okay. And I know that I'm changing my life and that my life is going to be better. Okay. I've never wanted it more. Okay. Ever. Okay. But I'm just scared. I'm scared of, like, who am I outside of someone who weighs over 450 pounds? I've got... Don't you weigh, like, 510 pounds? Like, that's that's weird that you said, who am I but someone who weighs over 450 pounds? Don't you weigh, like, 510 pounds? Wouldn't it just be better to say someone who weighs over 500 pounds? Because then, like, if if your weight loss is going as well as it had been, very soon you'll be able to say, as someone who weighs under 550 pounds, or, sorry, uh, weighs under 500 pounds, you'll be like, boom, there you go. That's that's my first goal hit. I'm under 500 pounds. I used to refer to myself as over 500. I don't know. I just, to me, that seems like a weird thing not to have gone for. I, 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 honestly, guys, uh, I, I don't know if we've rambled, I've joked around a wee bit, but like, uh, uh, this is, I don't know, it's probably, probably dull for both you and for me. Um, so I don't know how much more I'm going to show of it, uh, but we'll play. Uh, if she keeps talking about something interesting, I think I have a reaction, I'll keep it going. If not, we I might just splice in some clips here and then we'll do the sum up at the end. So l- let's see, let's see how this goes. You know, who am I outside of that? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And that's weird for me. For longer than I can remember, just been this person. Like, since I was 16, I've been over 400 pounds. And yeah, there was a moment in my early 20s where um, I reached 331. That was the lowest. It was just like a little tiny, tiny piece of my story. And um, it was because I was very unhealthy then. And it's like, the way that I would eat then was very unhealthy. And um, I was practically starving myself for a little bit. And I I have shared that before. It's like, I can't even be proud of that moment because the way that I was doing it was so unhealthy. And- What? I I just, I know I was like staring in blind, like boredom at that, but that's so stupid. Do you know what's also unhealthy? Getting your stomach cut out. That's, uh, do you know what? That is unhealthy. Getting weight loss surgery, not the healthiest thing in the world for you, okay? It's, just, it's not. It's, it, it, you know, getting anything of yours that is needed, cut out, and rearranged and all, 
j j try and lose weight. It's still not healthy. You're not losing it in a healthy way. So this is dumb. Like, you're trying to really, like, make this, like, such a dramatic... It's like a, the tale of Odysseus or something like that. Like, we are on a journey across the world here of her trying to find something to be sympathetic about. It's like, guys, once I, once I learned 80, lost 89 pounds, but I can't even be happy about that anymore because I didn't even do it in a healthy way because I just ate very few calories and I nearly starved. It's like, well, firstly, that's nonsense. I have eaten 500 calories a day before to try and lose weight in the short term. Like, it, it, it's a perfectly normal thing to do if you're going for like a really hard crash diet long term no certainly that's a bad idea but it's it's, it's like going into super low calories you're not going to starve to put it bluntly not being mean look at the size of you you ain't starving okay you you won't be starving like girl you could drink water and survive for a month okay stop it that's silly it's silly but i i love it. it's not even like the realization that's like i can't be part of the 89 pounds because I started at 420 and I went down to 331. Uh, but I can't even be proud of losing those 89 pounds because I didn't do it in a good way. It's like, no, because you ballooned up to 550 pounds. That's why you shouldn't be proud of the 89 pounds that you once lost because you didn't keep it off. You immediately ballooned again afterwards. That's why you shouldn't be proud of it. Not because, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. If you're, like, super heavy and you want to get thin, outside of, like, heroin, like, do whatever you need to do to lose the weight. If it is like slapping yourself in the face every time you think about having a I don't know, Cheeto or something like that, do it. Do it, you know? If that's what you want to do, if you want to go on like a hard liquid diet or something like that, that is awful to experience, but you lose the weight and you're happy in the end, boom. You do you, son. But like this nonsense, like, oh, well, I don't know what, I only ate 500 calories a day and because of that... <laughs> Well, I can't even be happy with that. It's a, it's a, you, you, sound, you sound silly. I was just in a dark spot, and I can't even be proud of that moment. I can't at all. But I'm going to be able to be proud of this one because I'm, I'm doing Why? it, and I'm doing it right. You aren't doing it right. You're getting weight loss surgery, which is, that, no, that's no shame against people who do get weight loss surgery. Like, it's fine. But I'm just saying, like, if she's trying to say, I, did, I can't be proud of how I lost weight previously because I went on a crash hard low calorie diet but at least this time i can be happy because i'm getting part of my stomach cut out it's what <laughs> like it bro you it's it's you, you can't you, you can't you can't claim that you know it just seems like you're just coping and trying to make this particular journey magic you're trying to make it seem like it is actual magic that the, the 89 pounds doesn't even count anymore because it wasn't done in this super special magic way, which is 100% going to work. It literally is impossible to fail, which, like I said, a dozen times at this point, stop building it up in your head. Don't make it a monument. It might fail. It might not work. And then where will you be? And I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it because who, who were you I doing for last time? Life. And I love it's not even like the big things. It's not even like I love love and I love family and I love my fur babies, but it's like small things. I love blankets and music and fireworks and holidays. That's the most cringe thing I think I've ever experienced in my entire entire time watching Amberlynn Reed. Thank you for making me sit through that nonsense list. Like, bro. Like, I love the small things. And I just don't want it my life to stop I don't and I also don't want it to continue with me being this unhealthy I know I can fix this I know I can change this and yeah I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this actually <laughs> do you know what the one the you, you shouldn't have you, you shouldn't have because it it comes across as manipulative that, that's that's my take on it I'm sure a lot of other people who are a lot softer than me in the community and are a lot nicer than me in the community will be like mm, yeah okay well I understand you know I, I get that and that's fine you know people different people can read it different ways I see this just being entirely manipulative because the thing is if you're doing this event there's really no reason you wanted to up you, you should want to upload it after that you know because like what it is like I'm this is for this is to show the true true journey guys. I was like, yeah, but who's it helping? Like, who, who's it? You're saying nothing that would be useful for other people. This is there's nothing. You're not talking about how you're coping with these feelings or how you're thinking about these feelings or how you're dealing with these feelings. It is ju you're just making up stuff from the past, like your 89 pounds thing, or or, or just like the, the, your last time you were in surgery and stuff like that. It's just. But how how are other people dealing with this? Meant to relate to it? 
It doesn't document the journey if you're trying to help other people. Bombard her with my tears. I actually feel so much better after talking to you guys. It's so crazy how just like talking to you guys, it, can, it just helps a lot. It's just like, I felt super heavy in my chest with emotion and I told you guys those emotions. So now I feel better. So thank you. Thank you for uh, listening to me and for being my friends. You didn't have to click on the video. Oh, you're stupid. That's dumb. Don't say that. That's bad. Uh, I'm not going to show the rest of that nonsense um, because it's just nonsense. She started around me talking about how her skin's breaking out and how that never happens to her, which uh, press X to doubt, I guess. Um, then she said how Feline's sleeping. So she can't, can't, But don't worry, guys. She can't hear me. And also, she didn't want to tell wake up Feline to talk about this because Feline was sleeping. So that's now why she decided to do this because she wanted to talk to her friends and she thanked YouTube commenters for being her friends. Like, bro, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm breaking any illusion here, but anyone who's commenting on my video or on my main channel, uh, you're not my friends, <laughs> you know? Uh, you, I'm sorry, you're you're not, you're, you're, you're people online to me, it's a, you have to create a healthy relationship. Uh, you know, I, I make content. You guys watch it. We can chat back and forth. But it's, it's you know, all my friends. Like if I if if my dog dies or something like that, and I'm heartbroken about it, I'm not gonna kick up a video here and be like, hey guys, my dog died. I'm just letting like, you know, guys. You, know, you want to talk to me about it? It's like you know, you, it, it it it's a really unhealthy attitude for her to go into acting like the people in the comment section are her friends and that's why she's now giving them this information uh it's that's it's really unhealthy and you did because you wanted to hear me and what i had to say i think that's also what makes it easier is because like i don't i'm very uh, i used to be such an open book with people in my life and now i just like i keep a lot of things to myself and i don't know what it is i just i don't want to burden people do you you randomly pointed out five seconds ago how you're breaking out. The, the second you go to hospital, you're, you're, you're taking videos of yourself in the car. The second you walk out of hospital, you know, you're, you're taking videos inside the hospital. You're, you're showing text messages to your family and stuff like that about things that happen to you in hospital. You, how, are you, how are you a closed book in any way? Like, this is, that's, a silly, that's a silly claim. You're being silly again. People, you can tell me 500 different times that I'm not a burden, and I just, I still feel like one. <laughs> that literally has not that, I used to be such an open book, guys, but now I just keep things close to my chest. Because if you tell me I'm a burden, not a burden 500 times, I'll still think I am. It's like, what the, what the fuck do those even relate? What? <laughs> those not even, they're, they're, they're not even close to relating. Like, well, what are you talking about? You having this like weird pat yourself on the ass thing going on here? I don't like it. I, I think you're, you're just being like really goofy. You're really trying really hard to win over the, the new audience that's kind of moved across to you, haven't you? Um, especially because like her emotions have just totally changed. She's no longer sad or crying. She's now being quirky and goofy again. And it's just like, okay. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad we. I'm glad we came on this journey together with your thirty-second cry phase, solved by your kooky phase. Uh, no, I'm gonna say that's a positive. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go. So yeah, I guess this is a new series. Let me guys. Let me. Let me guys. I was trying to say I love you guys, and let me know. You can like message me on Instagram or something if you enjoy this type of series. If you want to know more of like the true nitty gritty, what's in my brain and what's in my heart, because sometimes it's a little heavy, and talking makes it a little lighter. So thank you. Are we not doing? Are we not doing outros anymore? Are we once again? Uh, okay, like I, 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 I don't really know. Okay, we'll we'll go through a bunch of stuff like I said because I'm not gonna show most of the end of that after I, I spoke last because it was nonsense. Okay, pretty much to sum up the end of the video, um, the end of the video pretty much was just her saying that she's going to make this into a new series, which we already got because it says weight loss di uh, weight loss surgery diaries in in the title. She's going to make us a new series where she sits down and talks about her weight loss stuff, her weight loss journey towards weight loss surgery. But it's also going to be different than when she talks about it in her vlogs, uh, where she shows what she's doing for it, and also different to her weight loss updates, where she updates her us on her. <laughs> This is dumb. She also then went into like some weird diatribe about how you're not allowed to tell her that she's fat because that's offensive. But she can make fat jokes, even though like you know, like she she is she is fat. Like she is fat. It's not. It's is it offensive to tell someone they are fat if they are five hundred and ten pounds? Like is is is. 
It's like telling someone you're tall if they're six foot seven, you know? It's like, you're you're tall, you know? It's like, yeah, 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 I am. I don't, I don't see it as, as being, like, offensive. Uh, especially, I don't know. I just I just think the whole thing's dumb. It, she then goes into this like, weird rant about how only she can talk about her being fat or her cancer, and it's okay if she jokes about her being fat and having cancer, but no one else is allowed to make jokes about being fat about, how, about, about people being fat or cancer, because that's offensive to her. Um, but you can make gay jokes because she doesn't find them offensive. Um, <laughs> what? It was it's just so dumb. Um, I don't. I, I have to admit, I'm, I'm I, I don't follow that. I know I probably make me uh, stand out a bit compared to a lot of people in the community. Um, I, I, I don't I don't believe that. I think you should be able to joke about pretty much anything. Um, I, I think it's silly when people say, like, only I, I, I'm allowed to, like, talk constantly about me being fat and be like, oh, look at me, I'm disgusting and fat. But if you're like, yeah, you are kind of disgusting and fat, they'll be like, oh, I dare you. It's like, bro, if you don't want people to talk about it or say it, then you don't talk about it and say it. There you go. They, uh, they, it's either everything's okay or nothing's okay. That's, that's kind of my thing. I think it's kind of dumb you like courting off and being like only this person and this person are allowed to say it about me and anyone else is mean and awful it's like bro like we're, just, we're, we're literally just following your example calm yourself down um so yeah it's uh it's gonna be a series uh where she talks about her weight loss surgery um she also thanked the people watching because of them she now feels better and that's why she's smiling and she's so happy now because just talking to her fans makes her happy oh there's nonsense it's just absolute 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 nonsense um it, it, it's it came across very manipulative uh she was very specifically like Doing the manipulation bit at the start when she's crying, tell, retelling her backstory in like a, a weird new way again um, to try and like win over like the new fan base she has. Uh, then she like kind of tangents off into like being quirky for a while, then laying down the ground rules of how people are allowed to talk to her and what they're allowed to talk about and what she's allowed to talk about compared to them. And then finishing off by being like, I love my fans so much. Smile. You're all my friends. And then that's it. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty lame video overall. Um, I, uh, God, I, I, I wish this wasn't the one. I'm like, I'm straight on to it. Oh, yeah, it's only got posted 20 minutes ago. And then I watched it. I'm like, uh, that's kind of kind of sucky. I don't like this one. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much uh, for everyone watching, subscribing. All that malarkey. We're nearly at 500 subscribers, which is pretty insane. Like I said, uh, I was going to do uh, uh, <laughs> something to like celebrate 500 subscribers. So let me know, uh, comment section or whatever, uh, what you'd like me to do for 500. Like maybe watch some of her like greatest moments or something like that. Like maybe you get a compilation of greatest moments or something like that. I don't know. Let, let me know, guys, and then we'll organize um, when I'm going to do like some kind of live stream or something like that to celebrate us. But I also want to thank my patrons here, uh, Frank. As well, Healy, Sonny P, I'm just saying absolutely massive thanks so much for donating all that malarkey help and support the channel. I hope everyone's enjoying the show. Uh, I hope everyone has a good weekend. That's going to be me, though. Heading off here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.